Hi guys and welcome to Tasmania TV. Today's video is a requested one and it is an updated eyebrows video. So I don't do my eyebrows the same every day, it depends on my hair, the weather, the clothing, and what I'm doing. But one of the ways that I do it is using a liquid eyeliner like this one from Isadora, which is perfect for dotted eyebrows. I also have a black cake liner from Makeup Store, which is also perfect for regular, really thick, dark black ones. And for when I have crazy hair colors, I use the Stargazer semi-permanent liners, like this nice turquoise one. That's a great way to get your eyebrows in those crazy colors. But for everyday usage, I just use a regular eyeliner pen. This one is by H&M. And I start by drawing in the line underneath, so the bottom line for my brow. And I like a nice big wing. So keeping it pretty dramatic, but during fall I do make my brows a little bit thicker than I do during the rest of the year. So matching that curve for both sides until I'm happy with the placement, because symmetry is important here. And then I do the top line next. Now if you don't like your brows this thick, just place the line lower down and you'll have thinner brows. Same technique, just adjusted to what you like. After that, I go ahead and make that rounded little curve to complete the outer shape of the brow. Sometimes I make that super rounded, sometimes more harsh, it depends on what I feel like. And after that, I just fill the brows in. Now, a pen like this is not waterproof, it's not rub proof, anything like that. But I've been doing eyebrows like this for years now, so I'm used to having these things on my face, so I know not to touch them. So for me, they last a full day and a full night out because they just don't smudge. So I can work out with these without having the sweat remove them or anything like that. So yes, I can use waterproof liners like the Isadora one I showed you before, but I don't have to. I think this works just as well and this is easier to shape. I do keep Q-tips handy so that I can adjust the lines if I have to. And, like I said, symmetry is everything here, so I do, like, a double check before I'm happy, maybe adjust some of the lines with the Q-tip, go back in with a pen if I feel like I need it. But that is basically it, you guys. If you have any questions, please pop them in the comments below. Thank you for requesting this, thank you for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys!